For in New Jersey, nothing stands still. Yesterday's wastelands are today's wealth. This, my friends, is no sign. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the No Side Podcast, episode 59. I am your host, Antonio Matos, joined here with my co-host, Brandon Mendoza. How you doing tonight, dude? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing all right. I'm excited. Yeah, this, why? this is going to be a very, uh, <laughs> this is, uh, is going to be a nice podcast. Yeah. Oh. Why do you say that? Because oh. we got some uh, we got some nice people here to yeah. talk to. Yeah. Mr. Jordan Duggan, welcome back. Thank and you. then, Spurt, what's your last name again? Vaymori. Spurti Vaymori. Vaymori, okay. Yes. She and said together. it. Uh, yeah, I did say it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, thank, thanks for coming coming on, guys. It's going to be a very exciting podcast. We have a lot to talk about. You guys have been up to things, so mm-hmm. excited to let the people of No Side know what you guys are doing. So I think a good place to start is, how the fuck did you two meet? How did this start? Dude, this is the most romantic story ever. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. fucking Instagram. So, <laughs> nice. so nice. I'm out here in uh, no longer, but I was a former um, DM artist. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, <laughs> and uh, so, I, fuck, I forgot who it might have been um, that one chick. But like, I'm just oh, going through. Yeah. So as like, all right. Yes. So how I would pull on Instagram, bro, I don't think I've ever told you this. No, I've never heard this, yeah. If you go on Instagram and just go on like discover people, mm. it's bitches galore. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh my god. So <laughs> So yeah. So I'm just scrolling and then I see her and um yeah, and no, I'm just looking and we're I don't think you were private. No, I was public. But I feel public? like yeah. I like don't so, post myself on my like Post, post. I took know? a scroll. Yeah, you took a scroll. I was like, well, a little scroll. I was like, yeah. follow, see what happens. Yeah, and yeah. yeah, and fast forward, and we're here. And the rest is nice. history. The rest is history. Yeah. 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 Uh, we've made it a bit to like tell people different stories every yeah. time. They <laughs> That's have. where I thought this was gonna go. I was thinking I was, like, about it. Gonna yeah. try to follow. Like we yeah. told people bookstores and shit. Bookstores. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, a, it's an open-ended answer. Camps. Bookstores, coffee shops. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. Regular I, feel like, I feel like you guys gotta like top it off every time though. Like it's gotta get more. Get crazy. Yeah. You gotta yeah. add a little yeah. more <laughs> detail every time you tell the story. A fucking ninja came in and yeah. then she saved you. Yeah. Like that would have yeah, been yeah. like. Yeah. Like you gotta shit myself. She brought me pants. It was crazy. She knew my size. Yeah. I just had pants. Yeah. Yeah, in the back seat. She brought yeah. you the pants and doves came flying. Yeah, out just, of the dude, pants. She yeah. presented the pants. I one tear fell down my face. A singular and then you tear. sucked that shit back up. Yeah. Yeah. Man. And then and she, like, <laughs> damn right. <laughs> damn right. Yeah, nah, but yeah. uh so we met we were texting. We were like mm-hmm. DMing and texting for a few months and yeah. shit. Just like here and there. Mm-hmm. Um when I was doing stand up. Mm-hmm. Remember back then I went through that phase for like a month where I was doing stand up. <laughs> yeah. Fucking it was I was supposed to do like my second set. So the guy who owns this club that will not be named because fuck them. They um I told him I was like, Yo, last time you had me go up at like midnight mm-hmm, on a Wednesday. Mm-hmm. I was like, Can you like put me like lower? You know, because it was like <laughs> yeah. another weekday thing. Yeah. Mm. And he's like, I got you. You'll, you'll be on at like nine. Mm-hmm. So I go with um my old coworker named Carillos. So we're sitting there and he he likes to drink. So he just sitting there just fucking pounding <laughs> drinks. And I'm sitting there like just nervous as hell waiting yeah. to go up. And it gets to nine. And he calls some other schmuck up to yeah. fucking do his set. Damn, he played you like that? He kept playing yeah. me. So I'm like, you know, well, Carillos, I think, was the one to tell me, wait. Like, yeah, we'll see. Maybe he'll get it. you one, yeah. right? Dude, it hits like 11 again. Oh, my God. So I told Carillos, I'm like, bro, I'm not doing this shit. I'm leaving. So I leave. And then something in my head, I was just like, let me fucking tell her how, how shit this went real quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that kind of started yeah, the catalyst. Yeah. Yeah, I did. But, I did like stand up once too. So I, you yeah. were like, oh, like I did stand up, and then I yeah, that's how I, I think that's how yeah, I yeah, pulled yeah. her. I was like, oh, yeah. I saw you did stand up. I did it one time. <laughs> yeah, <I was> like, <laughs> Let me see. Dude, and it fucking worked. <laughs> <laughs> and it worked. <laughs> that was a combo that spiraled everything here. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. Do you think the stand up something you ever you're ever gonna like pull out of the bag again? Um, you think you'll, you'll try to dabble into it. There was it. like a little yeah. bit where we were like, our first date, we should go do stand up. Do an open mic together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like each do like our a set. Um, you know, for for me to do it again, no. I don't know. I'd, I I might. I just don't want to do anything like for free, you know. Mm. Okay. And and where, where I'm at in comedy, 
it's like you're doing it for free or you're not doing it at all. I suck. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. I think I just want to kind of build up like like the coaching and all that shit. And yeah, like yeah. Get more like Instagram, whatever, and then maybe branch out. But I want to. I'm at a moment now where it's like I want to monetize damn near everything I do. Yeah. Somehow, That's understandable. You know? Yes. So I feel like just going to spend four hours sitting down at this mm-hmm. fucking comedy club to do mm-hmm. jack shit. You don't think you're gonna get discovered? Yeah. <laughs> no. <you> know, <laughs> sometimes. No. It, you know, you work for free until you start making the money. I don't care about yeah. comedy that much. You know uh, I know. Okay. And then the thing is, I'll have to take you guys to this place. I'm I'm refusing to say the name, but the people out there suck too, dude. It's mm-hmm. not even funny. Mm-hmm. Ready? And then the owner was on some white knight type shit. So this like, I don't know any of these people personally. I've never mm-hmm. seen them more than once. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But there was this woman who like, she was either on something or just crazy. Mm-hmm. But she goes up and just rambles like. What's that shit called? Just monologuing? Like Not a monologue. Like you, you write your fucking man, like your manifesto. Oh my god, called. a manifesto? This yeah, lady? she just oh went up and like god. spoke <laughs> like a manifesto. It was the craziest shit. And then she just leaves immediately. What? So then some kid comes on, like some eighteen-year-old kid comes on, and he's just like, "She wasn't funny. Like what the fuck, <laughs> right?" And then the owner was like, "Hey." You don't disrespect that woman when she's not here. Da, 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 da. Like he when cut that show. Anything. Yeah, this old ass motherfucker was just like, "You watch your tone, Mister." Oh I said, "Dude, what kind of comedy club are we in right now?" Yeah, you know what real. I'm saying? Because then people were riffing on these like other dudes and shit. Mm. So like that guy, one guy was like, "Yeah, that guy's joke wasn't factually accurate." Da, da. Like that's what I'm dealing with. I'm not yeah. sitting there not getting paid. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then everybody's like, "Oh, his joke was great. I like that he made fun of that guy." As soon as they made fun of like the fucking crazy woman, the owner was just like. Don't that was stop. the limit. Yeah. Yeah. Stop. And everybody yeah. go home. It's over. My mood's ruined. Yeah, we're shutting this down. Dude, yeah. And I never went back. At that moment, I was just like, yo, fuck this. Mm. We gotta find a different comedy club. Yeah. yeah. I don't think there's any, like, good ones with open mics local, bro. I know in New Brunswick there's a good one, but say, you don't, yeah. you can't open mic there, I don't mm-hmm. think. I think it's a little bit harder, because that's what, you, the laugh factor or the stress factor? The stress factor. factor. Yeah. The stress yeah. factor. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I know. I think, I'm not sure, like, guys like Big J Okerson exactly. was just there last weekend, exactly. you know, so, like, I, I, think, I feel like it's a little bit harder to get open mm-hmm. mics, but maybe, And I'm maybe. telling you, this place I went, Big J Okerson's not touching that shit. Mm. I swear to God, I don't think they've ever had like a big person there. Yeah. And was it a comedy club or was it more of it's like a bar? Both. W- but, it's okay. both. It's mm-hmm. advertised as both. It's called comedy is in the name, but not in the bar. You know what I mean? Ah, <laughs> it's yeah. crazy. Yeah. I will never go back. I promise you, I will never go back. You gotta find a new club, man. We'll yeah. find one. No, nah, it was fun though while it lasted. You know, mm-hmm. I, I did a total of like six minutes. Got mm-hmm. like a total of six laughs. You got some Not laughs. Bad. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was good. It's better I than like getting no laughs. A laugh yeah. per minute. You know, yeah. Yeah. my yeah. favorite one. I tell the story all the time. Mm-hmm. I might have even said it last, like one of the times I was on the podcast, bro. But I'm I'm there and I'm telling my jokes and there's like a sea of white dudes in front of me, all like middle aged. They not fucking with me. Right. Mm-hmm. So then I bring up like racism. I start to talk about Hulk Hogan's like racist scandal from years ago. And all of a sudden in the recording yeah, I have, yeah, yeah. I have my boy recorded my first stand up set. As I bring that up in the background, you hear like one black voice go, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I won the night. Oh I won God. the night. <laughs> the brothers love me. <laughs> nice. He goes, yeah. And I was like, let's fucking go. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. So, yeah fucking comedy you've been doing that shit you guys met and now here you guys are on the no side podcast and you guys have been brewing some nice stuff up i know we're making a little bit jokes about it in the beginning but this is nice this is nice so now i feel like this is a good point to uh bring this up what was kind of the inspiration that made you guys think like okay let's make a let's make some sort of company let's let's try to build something together Part of me remembers it as like boredom. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I wanted to do something with her, like productive, Mm -hmm. you know? It's like I have her hitting pads and shit, holding pads, like, you know? I was like, she's getting nice at holding the pads and shit. She's getting all right. But we, um, I was just trying to figure out something else to do, Mm -hmm. you know, something that's more productive, maybe make money instead of us spending it Mm -hmm. all the, or Mm -hmm. me spending it all the fucking (laughs) (laughs) time. But, um, yeah, no, so I had back end boys way back in the day. Do you remember back end boys? You know, I actually, I think I do kind of remember that. I don't, was that more clothing that you were doing? Yeah. Yeah. Two, three years ago. Yeah. Yeah. What is that? I don't know. I made a clothing brand before on a website, all that. Um, and I remember, dude, the way, even way 
farther back. I don't even like to talk about it. I was making music. I made music <laughs> for like a year and a half, two years. My first month with Back End Boys made me more money in that month than the music did in like two fucking years. And I did shows, bro. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I was like, this is cool. I did Back End Boys for like six months. And that's when I found uh, MMA and got into mm-hmm. that, fell in love. And I was like, yo, I don't have the time to make Back End Boys anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, and then it, at the hype died down very mm-hmm. quickly. Mm-hmm. So then it started to cost me money to keep the site running. I canceled that shit. Uh, but now fast forward a couple of years and I was, I was talking to her and I was just mm-hmm. like, yo, look, I know how to set up these sites. I know how to set up the store. Mm-hmm. Let's just see what happens. You yeah. know, mm-hmm. and, um, it's been okay. You know, it's yeah. nothing major. I can't even lie, but I think the designs are coming together. Uh, yeah, the podcast is okay. Is there anything cool. uh, specifically you would like to pull up? First off, and then uh, we can uh, we can show it. And the handsome shirt, it. the handsome yes. shirt. You ever heard of Mbop? Mbop, Mbop? Mbop? Yeah. It's you feel yeah. me? Yeah. Let's see. I'm I'm on your website. Where should I? Just, uh, just hit shop. Shop. Ooh. Yeah. Scroll. Then oh. up there, up 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 up. The handsome band. We actually got copyright struck. From yeah. a fucking Green Day. Yeah, Green Day. Green Day. Really? Yeah, and they're Great. like, take this shirt down. So mm-hmm. I was like, we did. But Hanson has not said anything yeah, about this shirt. Yeah, they're real as fuck for that. Hanson real as fuck for that. Shout yeah. out to the Hansons. Shout yeah. out to the Hansons. Yeah. Here's the shirt. I think that's probably my favorite sh- design I've ever made in my life. <laughs> <laughs> you design all the, the yeah, dude, I'm clothing? Fine. Yeah, he's like really nice with the whole and like the designs and like i feel like your brain just works like that you know i feel like you have a lot You're of creativity autistic. in you jordan I do, i'm mad autistic <laughs> 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 i'm crazy autistic dude. i think he's that artistic <laughs> oh it's because of my autism <laughs> what you mean dude i'm stupid autistic. oh i also uh the mozzarella stick tea Oh, Nobody yeah. fucks underrated. with it. <laughs> but underrated, I, if you could zoom in and read it, <laughs> yeah, yeah. dude, I, I spent hours yeah. trying to make the right shit. Yeah. Mozzarella sticks are golden history, breaded and fried to a golden crisp. Mozzarella sticks are a delicacy enjoyed by billions of people a year. Can you name three people who don't like mozzarella sticks? Didn't think so. Are you vegan? Fuck you. <laughs> Cheese rocks. <laughs> cheese rocks, especially mozzarella. Call me old school, but I see nothing wrong with deep frying cheese. That's what I'm talking about. Right? Yeah. That's some American yeah. shit right there. Hell yeah. I like the fuck you, though. Nah, that's fucking, that's yeah, no, nah, she's fucking vegan. <laughs> she, I'm oh, she drink milk don't, or whatever. Don't, but... don't put that on, on me. I'm vegetarian. Dude. I, eat cheese. I didn't think about it ahead of time, bro, but like whenever we got on like a date or whatever, mm-hmm. I feel mm-hmm. so shitty. Because I'm sitting there and I have like chicken breast and and i'm over here and she's eating she's over there like drinking water and shit bro it's fucking, it's <laughs> fucking grass wild. from outside <laughs> yeah, she's <laughs> grazing and shit it's wild yeah <laughs> you know what it's got me this far <laughs> it got me this yeah. far yeah but yeah, yeah. Now, this is nice uh we have our cat selection we, we yeah. have our cat yeah, we're exploiting the animal it's great yeah you know it's funny it's funny you guys did that because me and brandon have had this conversation mm-hmm. about exploiting our cat dude you must you have to 100 percent. we would make so much money yeah, thousand yeah. percent dude. but like yeah we discussed it we're not exploiting our little boy for money <laughs> <laughs> listen i don't Sorry, need that holier guy. than thou <laughs> attitude bro <laughs> when, the, when the going gets rough yeah. <laughs> you're gonna wish you exploited that animal <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I feel I feel like if finances start getting a little bit more tougher, can't make rent or something, we'll probably have to make like an OnlyFans. And, <laughs> just for, yeah. yeah, just put him on or and like post a cat pics. <laughs> can't, yeah, you know, yeah, just the cat, the cat staring at the camera <laughs> yeah. for five seconds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. Nah, the nugget idea was the first one. That nugget, the cat first one, that's the first one we've ever made. The first shirt out of all your Out of all the nice or? ones, yeah. It says, rob the bodega, eat hot chip and lie. <laughs> that is what Nugget does. <laughs> that is indeed what my cat does. Yeah. Hot chip and lie. Yeah. Uh, yeah, nah, Nugget's a bitch though sometimes. <laughs> hey. I can't even lie. Dude. Don't hey, dude. <laughs> Nugget's attacked you. <laughs> yeah, she like walks up on me. Yeah. She was a rescue. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Our little boy was uh, not a like an actual rescue, but more of like we rescued him. From... Like if you don't rescue him, he's going to get you know. Well, I mean, yeah, uh, like I didn't I mean? get Nugget from. She was born in a warehouse, right? Mm. And there was like forklifts <laughs> zooming. Oh, so shit. we just moved into the house. 
So um, they were trying to figure out what to do with these cats. And at first, I was against taking the cat in. Because I told Andrew, I was like, yo. I was like, we just moved in. And if you look at the lease, I have to find mine and send you a picture. Everything is like lowercase. But then in the middle of the lease, in all caps, it says no pets of any kind. Oh, all shit. caps, no pets. Can't even have a bird. Dude, nothing. Not she was like, no fish, fish nothing. Wow. What? Yeah, dude. Wow. Yeah. That- your landlord probably hates like all kinds. She's of the coolest life. fucking person ever. Yeah. My landlords are the best. Really, dude? I've seen them maybe four times, like totally. <laughs> like the one guy will come. He told Andrew like where to get a good cart. He he came over, <laughs> was mowing the lawn. Andrew was like, "Yo, do you need like a water or something?" He was like, "Nah." Uh, do you smoke? And he was just like outside. He's like, "That's not why I'm asking. <laughs> yeah. You know where to get carts. You know, I go here for good. yeah, yeah." <laughs> yeah and, That's so yeah. funny because we we all have PTSD. When, when it comes like to you couldn't smoking talk now. about weed yeah. Yeah, yeah like even now that it's legal like it's like i still feel weird, weird. you know mm-hmm. like if i step outside and i know it's completely fine the smoke smoke something i'm still kind of like <laughs> yeah someone walking it. let me i think it's gonna it. take a while like like yeah. jokes aside i feel like there's still gonna be like 40 year olds walking with like their five-year-old kid and being like the fuck's wrong with them you know, but then mm. they go back home and start like taking shot after shot in front of that kid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I think once that generation of people gets a little too old to give a fuck, like we'll be straight. Yeah. yeah. But you know, I'd rather weed than alcohol any day of the week. Oh, and for like sure. if, mm-hmm. if I have a child one day, like I'm gonna tell that kid straight up, I'll be like, son and or daughter, you will do what you want regardless. Just be safe. And honestly, if you have to choose between alcohol and smoking some toki toke. <laughs> Smoking that Chu Chang, <laughs> 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 fucking the devil's lettuce, bro. You choose that shit. Uh, fuck, man. It's always, it's weird to think about that, you know, in the future, like later down the line, like when we have kids and whatnot. Like right. the, the 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 world that they're gonna be entering, it's gonna be a lot different when it comes to the whole drugs and mm-hmm. alcohol realm of things, you know, because weed is pretty much super legal at this point but it, well, in a couple it's been. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah so now thinking in a couple of years from now like we already i i i want to say we already know but i can guarantee most likely that psychedelics will yeah. be mm-hmm. legal just like weed is yeah. so like our kids even are in gonna a, be like going for mushrooms there's a couple state there's a couple states that you can get mushrooms from a dispensary already yes yeah, yeah. Like oregon yeah. Oregon? Oh, that's that's old news. But I think in like Colorado you could too. I think there's a couple states. Okay, Colorado yeah. would though. Yeah. No, yeah. I do. I want to go to Colorado. Colorado be wild and up there. Yeah. I think Ohio will be wild too. No, I think Ohio. Fuck. <laughs> Dude, you good. Psychedelic water. Andrew did that shit on accident. What? Psychedelic water? Yeah, dude. I've if you drop an acid tab in water, it works. Oh like uh, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I remember we um way back in the day in like his father's house we had like the little back shack thing we would like smoke in and just chilling mm-hmm. and i used to spend way too much time there just fucking <laughs> smoking and shit so i noticed that it's getting late and he's like geeking bro and he just like yo i put a tab in the water and i felt like i could just kind of slowly sip it and just have like a smooth like kind of like, like micro mm-hmm. yeah he's like and i ended up he's like i think i i drank too much so I told him, I was like, well, are you going to finish the bottle or what? And he was just like, yeah, probably. But like, can we just chill for a minute? I don't want to like go in my house. I'm bugging out right now. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, cool. So he fucking ends up finishing it. We smoke a little bit more. I go home. That next day in school, he was still tripping. Damn, that's <laughs> wild. Yeah, dude. I tripped in school on kind of accident. Kind of accident? I took half a tab. It was my first, it's like my first or second time tripping. I forgot. But I took half a tab. And I didn't feel it in like 15 minutes, so I took the other half. Yep. Fucking Antonio you're shaking his head. For yeah, you're listen. impatient. Dude, yeah. So first period is starting to hit like, very lightly. So I'm like, all right, this is what I wanted, right? Sick. Yeah, I was like, fuck this shit. <laughs> Do you remember that room with all the computers in it? There was a couple of rooms like that. Oh, it was like a the, financial. The left side of the uh, high it's school? Like, Yes. Yeah. 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 I know what so you're talking about. we had a quiz that was straight only on the computer, and it was for like some financial class I didn't mm. even need anymore. You mm. know, so I was like, you know what? I'm about to just like rapid fire this test. I can barely read right now, regardless. So I'm like, boom, 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 boom. I close my eyes and I'm getting like the tracers and like designs <laughs> in my eyes. Oh, yeah. So I'm like, yo, this is beautiful. I'm about to have a great fucking school day, right? How old are you, by Dude, the way? 16. <laughs> 16. I think I was a junior. Your Just brain is still developing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 it developed a little bit more then. So, second period comes. I go to art. Um, 
And I remember I'm still having a great time. So I'm like, dude, this is wonderful. I'm feeling productive. I think it would be a great idea to go see my guidance counselor right now. Oh, my God. Oh, I swear, <laughs> no. everything I promise you no. from the bottom of my soul, every part of the story is true. So I'm like, dude, I'm going to go make an appointment with my guidance counselor. I'm going to get shit done today, bro. So I'm like, yo, Mr. White, can I go to the guidance counselor's office? And he's like, yeah, do whatever the fuck. Yeah, so, <laughs> so I'm like, all right, fucking sweet. Good sign. He doesn't care. So I leave. And do you remember John? The security guard, the yes, ball head. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yeah. So I leave the art wing. I turn right, and it was like a fucking movie. He's standing at the end of the hall, and he goes, boom, right? And he fucking, like, snaps his head and looks at me real quick. So I'm like, just keep it cool, Jordan. Keep it cool. He can't tell. It's great. So I walk past him. He's like, how you doing? I'm like, I'm good. <laughs> I, fucking did. I get to the guidance counselor's office, and she's like, hey, fill out this paper. So I'm like, right now? And she's like, yeah, you know you have to take this paper. I start to panic. So I fucking put the paper down. I take the pencil. I go to write my name. My handwriting is bad when I'm sober. Right now, oh it God. was so shit. So she's watching me. And then she's like, circle your guidance counselor. Like the name, circle oh, which one you got to go to. Let's say the name was right here. Half of the name was in the circle and the other half of the circle <laughs> was gone. I couldn't. I, it was starting to really get into it. I'm like an hour deep, an hour and a half oh deep. God. So she's looking at it and she looks up at me. So this is how I remember it tripping. I can't think about how it would be sober. But in the trip, she's like looking at it and she looks at me. She looks at it again. She's like, put your ID number down. Like, write your student ID down. No. And I was just like, for why? Like, like why? why <laughs> for why? So in my head, I'm like, dude, she's going to track me down. You she's know? on to me. Yeah. I was like, dude, they're going to they're gonna <laughs> oh, fuck shit no. up. They're going to fuck up. I had to talk to my mom. It's like, that's what I didn't care about. Nothing. I was like, dude, if they find out I'm like this right now, they're going to call my fucking mom. That was my <laughs> biggest fear. So she's like, write your ID down. I was like, you sure? Like, I was being so sus about it. I you didn't even sure. in my head think about it. I'm like, are you like are, I have to? Like, what? She's like, just write your ID. She's like, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> Do you have a warrant? Do you, yeah. you have a warrant like, or something? Yeah. So I write, I write down my shit. I give it back. And I leave. Immediately, I'm like, my day is fucked. I was like, there will be nothing will recover this. They're going to call me any minute now. My mom's going to come and she's going to beat the shit out of me. <laughs> you know? it's, like, it's not good. So I'm in my uh, third period math mm. class. So I'm texting my friend. I'm like, yo, like, they're on to me. <laughs> I was like, they know what's going on. So I remember, this is one of the craziest sensations of my life. I put my head down on the desk, okay? And it felt like when I did that, it felt like heat on the back of my neck. Like someone shined like a, a spotlight on me. That's what it felt like physically. And I was like, fuck. So I get the text at the end of class from my friend back. And they're like, oh, if they, they would have got you by now, if they really knew, mm -hmm. they would have got you. So I was just like, all right, maybe, maybe. That makes sense. Yeah. 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 So I think I'm back on the uphill. I'm like, dude, fucking great. They don't know shit. I'm beating the system. Fuck them. <laughs> I go to my English class with um Miss Appleman, right? You remember Miss Appleman? Yeah. Miss Appleman? This yeah, you do. It's so, yeah, you fucking do. <laughs> 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 that's a funny fucking class to be in zooted yeah dude nah, and then there's this kid named uh dude i'm just dropping all the names i don't give a fuck so <laughs> we are this kid i'll never forget this because this ruins my day again so we're we're having like a chill class we're not even like reading anymore I'm, like it was meant for like today it's like mm. the universe knew i was gonna be bugging out so sabian wants to join in on like a joke and be like funny for the class and he was like did you know that there's an i in team and you know what I'm talking about with the, you know what I'm talking about? Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, and I got the joke and I was like, this motherfucker, bro. I was like, he better want to like write shit on the board and shit. Like he's better what? go up and give like a, like a demonstration. So I'm like, what the fuck? Miss Appleman is like, what do you mean? Like, I guess she never heard of that. So it's exactly what this fucking kid wanted, I think. So now they're going back and forth. He's like, no, there is, there's an I in team. And she's like, I don't get it. What's that's What's the joke? So I blurred out. And I would just, oh, no. So he goes up and he writes it on the board. And she's like, oh, I see. Like, that's that's okay. Like, that's a good joke. Whatever. And he starts to, like, explain it more. And on God, I was just like, yo, we get it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, something in me. I was like, I need to be the one to step up for this class. And I was like, yo, like, sit down. <laughs> right? So Miss Appleman looks at me. She's like, Jordan, are you okay? And I was like, fuck. <laughs> I was like, I just brought way too much attention to myself. So I'm like. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, I'm good. You just talking about the joke a little too long. She's like, Oh yeah, you just want to get back to the work, huh, Jordan? Is that what's going on? Oh, yeah. I was like, Yeah, <laughs> I do. <laughs> Bell rings. Now I'm on my way to gym class. 
uh, this is my first time meeting my boy at the time, uh, Ronan. We met mm. here. We met here and there, like through Andrew, uh, my roommate. Um, but we shared a gym class. So I remember walking in, and it was a Zumba day. So fuck those days, dude. Not only fuck that day, day? but I'm tripping and I have no idea that that was that day. So imagine you're tripping. Real quick, what's a Zumba day? Yeah, yeah. Because I never did a Zumba day. So okay, I'll explain it how how what it was like walking in tripping, and then I'll say like what it actually is. I walk into the gym, and I'm like four hours. Like I'm tripping. You're (laughs) deep into it, dude. I'm (laughs) there's I'm super deep. No turning back to trip. Yeah, no, I'm trying my best to be one with the trip. And I walk into my gym class, and there's balloons and a sea of people dancing, and one random bitch I've never seen before standing on like a podium, fucking getting, you know what I'm saying? I, lo- I walk in, I'm looking at like just everybody dancing, balloons falling. It was like some high school musical shit. I look at, I look at Ronan. He's like, oh, Jordan, I heard you're tripping right now. Because I think Andrew, someone told it, Ronan. He's like, yo, you're tripping right now. I was like, yo. It's like we're in a movie. And he, he saves me in his phone as Jordan movie for like a year. <laughs> but Zumba is, if you remember Zumba, it was like dance fitness. It was like a craze that went on back in the day. Oh, okay. So Edison High would have like a Zumba instructor come in no. and just teach the gym class for a day. Yeah, uh, horse shit. Yes, yeah. dude, and like, dude, they would police you. Since the gym teachers aren't doing their job, they turn into like security slash chaperones. So if you're not fucking two-stepping, they're like, dude, you're going to get a detention. What? So now what? I have to dance. Yeah. So I'm tripping <laughs> balls and I have detention? to dance. To, to avoid anybody looking at me. Because I guarantee you my pupils were probably fucking Pennies. eight ball size. Yeah. So, yeah. so I'm sitting there and I'm just dancing, bro. Mm, and then at this yeah. point it starts to wear off. Uh, and I go to Sweating work. Sweating it out. Yeah, no. And then, yeah. I remember I think I had like lunch. Oh, yeah. Fucking this one kid came up to me at lunch and he was trying to fuck with me. He's just like, yo, they know you're tripping. They know you're tripping. And at this point, I'm already on the come down. You're not fucking with me no more. I was like, <laughs> I was like too bad. <laughs> There's nothing they can do now. But yeah, that, that, that was. I don't even know what brought us there, but yeah. That's fucking funny. That's a fucking wild school day. Dude, it really was, dude. And I remember I didn't have a car at the time, and my mom was driving me to work. So I walk, I go to my mama's car after school, and like I'm pretty. Like, if you trip like during the day, like you're not tripping seven eight hours later but you feel a little like foggy you know what yeah, I'm saying? I know. yeah yeah so i'm in the car and she's like how was your day you know you're ready for work or whatever and i'm just like i just want to go to work <laughs> i was like <laughs> it's like i just want to go home <laughs> like, have you ever had a trip that you felt like just like lingered way too long like you were like looking at the time you're like this okay like what the fuck like i so from like the ages of like 18 to 19 pretty much when i graduated high school i went on like a like a year or two binge of just like shit that i should not have been doing so like there was like moments where like i would trip on accident not on accident but without planning it because dude i wasn't working you know what i'm saying i'm sitting there being a bum just claiming i'm a rapper and shit you know what Mm. i'm saying so i remember going to my boy's house to drop off like another friend because at this point i have a car and then they're like oh yo by the way we have an extra asset tab you want to hang out i'm just like at 19 i was just like that's a sign that i have to trip (laughs) <laughs> you know, like that's a sign that yeah this was meant to happen so and they didn't even give it to me for free they were just like yeah we have one extra tab you want to give me like 10 bucks i was just like yeah <laughs> i was like all right we're having a night and that night blasted forever because we were watching austin powers oh my god and my one boy dude my one boy he fucking we're sitting there we're watching the austin powers um like golden whatever the gold fuck. member yeah gold, gold member. member beyonce's in that one yeah yes. so yeah dude every like 15 minutes for like this two hour movie like dude it was every 10 15 minutes my boy leo keeps going yo i would really fuck beyonce (laughs) (laughs) so like like, would you Leo? yeah yeah and then towards the end of the movie i have another like friend at the time and he starts to go through like an emotional moment in his trip and he starts crying (laughs) Oh, and he no. was really he was really going through shit he was really going through shit at the time but so we're all tripping balls just watching fucking mini me you know what i'm saying and my boy starts crying so we don't no- even notice it really at first and then once we do it's like a group trip so now we're all like like we oh, must console no. our brother you know so he starts crying and we're looking at him and he's just like i'm just tired of living like this man oh, <laughs> Dude, it was so raw he's having a revelation during gold member <laughs> oh my yeah. god yeah what a crazy Dude, thing, right? going it's, through so, your whole life and yeah, shit and we started this trip again 
keep in mind, we were all bums, bro. So we're at my boy's dad's house. It's like a Thursday at 2 a.m., bro. <laughs> oh <my laughs> you know? and, we're, and we're just like, dude, it's all going to work out, bro. Just, you know, <laughs> like, like, you know. Wow, group dude, therapy session while fat bastards sumo wrestling. Dude, that <laughs> trip fucking felt like seven days. <laughs> we, we, none of us really, like, left the living room, you know? And, uh, Jesus. Yeah, dude, I I had a trip once where I I think took the I think I took two tabs of acid, and it was like early on, like when I first started doing psychedelics. So and I two took, tabs, you were like, Ooh. yeah, man, I was like, fuck yeah, man, I spent like tw- I got it for like a deal too. I like spent like twenty five bucks and got both of them. So I was like, fuck yeah, that's awesome. So I took both of them. It was like ten thirty at night, so like ten thirty p.m. after after work, after school and whatnot. So this is so like I, high school era. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Uh, I would say probably more like my junior or senior year. So like I'm already out of the school type. Yes, okay. yeah. Um. So I take I take the two tabs. I'm rocking through the whole night. You know, I kind of what I anytime I would trip, even like now, if I were to trip, I always I I like it to kind of be an experience like what happens happens. But I'd mm-hmm. like to try to at least plan out like two or three things. I okay. like to have like a video game in mind that I could mm-hmm. play either like for like the come up, you know, like mm-hmm. play the Call of Duty zombies until I'm blasted and I can't. You're bugging for that. What? Dude, what? As soon as I hear zombies. that, yeah, I'm like, no, turn it off. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're done. Yeah. We're done. Dude, I watch horror movies tripping, but that's, that's, no, that's, no. that's the craziest that's fucking red flag, flag I've ever seen in my life, bro. What See, the dude, fuck? I, I love solo trips, and this is why, like, I always, like, promote psychedelics, you know? Of course, like, psychedelics and shit aren't for everybody, but mm-hmm. it's, I feel like it can be for everybody if you're willing to surrender. You know, surrender. Is See, kind of saying it like word, that, yeah. dude. You can't. You're not selling me on. Yeah, no, but, like, but let me. You're let me, making it sound like you I have know a what you're saying. Back of my head, As like, someone who's tripped a bunch of times, I know no. what you're saying, but you did not word it right. Yeah, dude. like what I mean by surrender Just is lose it, yourself completely, bro. It's fine. Yeah. But that's the thing know, is because but... you're you're gonna come back from it. You ain't gonna die, motherfucker. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. you you're gonna come out of it. You know, so like fear is what fucks up the trip. Mm-hmm. So you just gotta kind of have to let go. But anyway, I digress. This trip I had started at like 1030. I get the game. I picked out like a movie. That's another thing I like to do is like pick out a movie or two, like a show or a movie. And I'm going through the whole night doing doing my thing. And, you know, so I took it at 1030. Normally trips last what like seven, eight hours, like max, you know. So I, I should be good by sunrise because usually by like six, seven in the morning, I can like yeah, go to sleep. Yeah, but then it's 10 in the shit. morning and you're fucking tired. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like- so I'm going through the whole night, right? And I'm waiting to start getting tired. I'm waiting to start getting that drowsy feeling so I know I'm like, okay, I'm coming off. I can actually like lay in bed and go to sleep. It mm. never happened. Oh, wow. It ne- Dude, 6 o'clock rolls around. I'm like, we're still rolling. And this is in like this isn't like your parents' crib? Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. you're crazy. Dude, yeah. <laughs> you're crazy, bro. Fuck yeah. I tripped so- once in my mom's house when she was home, but I locked myself in my room. I made a song. I think I like played some games and shit like that. Like she mm. probably thought I was asleep. I've watched but... a movie with my family oh, on like dude. mushrooms. Wow. The best thing is my mom, when she was growing up, she's done psychedelics and smoked and shit. Mm-hmm. But for someone who's done it, is very like not accepting of it. Like she or not she, like accepting of it, but like she don't give a fuck. So she like on some real shit. Like if she caught me tripping, like she would probably start hitting me. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, like, Beat it out of you. Ma, you gonna fuck up my day? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna think about this in 40 years. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, my my parents had a uh, weird dynamic with it, where like I wasn't ever like, like they they knew at a point I started like dabbling in drugs. I started mm-hmm. smoking weed and shit, and they they knew it was obvious. I was coming home zooted after school every single day. I was 16. I asked my mom shit. to buy me like a Rasta hat, and, she, <laughs> and I think that's when she, she was like, "Oh, <laughs> yeah, you remember when those uh, the the Rasta hoodies, like the, the fucking drug, drug rugs, hoodies, yeah. yeah, the drug rugs, yeah, when those are popular. I remember like the first time I got one, I got like the Jamaica, like like the red, <laughs> yellow, and green one, just like I, you just started smoking. Huh? Yeah, my mom's like. Hmm, huh. What you got going yeah. on over here? <laughs> you don't get it, mom. <laughs> you just don't understand. Yeah, dude. I had like fucking four or five of those suckers, all different colors. Dude, I remember. I, dude, I was rasted out. Um, Best part about Antonio too is, dude, this motherfucker 
it was his first year in the high school. So I'm a junior when he's a freshman. I thought he was like a new senior kid or something, bro. <laughs> his beard has been the same since <laughs> for like 10 years. <laughs> right, dude. Yeah. I, remember, I think Andrew was the one to tell me. He's like, nah, he's a freshman with me. I was like, yeah. fuck? What? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, get this grown man out of here. That's fucking dark. <laughs> I was like, yeah, dude. That, and that, it's funny because like when I it was my freshman year, I was always hanging out with the juniors and yeah. the seniors because I, I kind of just fit in pretty well, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so and it, it fucking sucked. Like when all you guys left and all you guys graduated, uh-huh. I had no one at that point. Uh-huh. <laughs> I was just that dude in school at that point. Like when all like my like higher senior uh, friends left. I was just that dude in school. Mm-hmm. Everyone knew me. Like, still to this day, there are people like fucking Brandon's girlfriend works with someone I went to school with. And I'm yeah. like, who? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then I have to, like, see a picture. I'm like, oh, I did go to school with that person. But, like, I never really talked to that yeah. person. Mm-hmm. But they just know me. <laughs> uh, yeah. Dude, I had a similar moment. Fucking, I went to this, like, I went to this drive through space. I'm not trying to, like, because they're still local. Mm-hmm. And I'm pretty sure this girl had, like, a couple kids or something I've heard, like, a few years ago. And I think she might have even been younger than you by a year, you know? Dude, not that there's anything wrong with it. I get to the drive-thru, I go to the window, and then this, like, very large woman goes, Jordan? And I was, I swear, I didn't recognize her. I was like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, Who's yeah. asking? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And then she's like, oh, my God, do you remember me? And I was like, no. And then as I'm saying no, it all fucking hits. I was like, yo, I do. I kept lying straight to the bitch's face. Because I feel like it would be worse for me to be like, actually, yeah. I just had to get through the 100 pounds. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. Dude. Dude. I haven't been back to that Duncan. I don't want to have a conversation with him. We're naming the establishment now. Yeah, nah. Dude, it was wild, bro. I swear to God. like, And it wouldn't be nothing noteworthy. I'm not trying to be a dick, you know? But it was like three of her. Oh shit! <laughs> Three old hers put together equals the Dude, new it her. Dude, it's wild. And then you have the audacity to act like I'm wrong for not recognizing. It's been six years. Jordan? It's been six years. Two kids oh, and geez. fucking a diet. And you're gonna sit here and say, "Oh yeah. fuck." Yeah, no, but, dude, me and you, fucking all of us, we got to fucking, like, just shroom it out on a, on a pod one day, bro. Dude, fuck yeah, man. Yeah, I'm actually mad Take it down. in the beginning and then just write it out. Dude, on some shit, like, just, we have to take a day. Just have, like, a super long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, like, start, we'll do a day trip. And then, like, as we get, get to the come down, that's when we'll be like, all right, let's do a pod. That would that that would be. Oh no, nah, cool. dude! We gotta do that. We gotta do the whole at thing. Yeah, I watched. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All I right, watched yeah. this one podcast. It was um, it was Joe Rogan's podcast. Mm. With uh, my favorite comedian at the moment is Shane Gillis. Oh, I, I fucking love I him. Fucking love Shane Gillis. You've, but you've seen his live in Austin. It's right? the best. It, I swear to God, it's probably the best special. I've ever question seen. before before you continue on with your thought. This is because uh, they recently watched Andrew Schultz' uh, new okay. special. Which one do you think is better? The Shane. Shangela- I okay, exactly. think Andrew Schultz's new special was very good. Mm-hmm. I'm a very big fan of him, especially his podcast and his stand-up. Mm-hmm. But breaking news, son, he stole two jokes during that special. Really? One of them was he stole a quote from Andrew Tate and just switched up a couple words. Really? Yeah, dude. Ooh. But no, Shane Gillis... I, I've seen that special like four times. Yeah, same. Dude, it's so it's funny, funny every time. He's fucking great. <laughs> yeah. But it was um yeah, it was Shane Gillis, Mark Norman, Ari Shafir, and Joe Rogan. Yeah, the Protect Our Parks. Yeah. Dude. And I was like, I need to do that one day. Mm. I need to. I was like, I need to just one day just bro it out fucking Fuck six yeah. we'll, hours. We'll, we'll, dude, we'll get Josh. Josh would I I guarantee you Josh would ah, love to do dude, it. Dude, Josh definitely would too. I bet he'd be down. <laughs> I bet he'd be down. We gotta we gotta do it on like Sunday. Yeah, <laughs> we dude, gotta yeah. do it on some random day. Yeah, dude, we'll have a bro down because like you guys were our first guests on No Side, so it makes sense yeah. if that's the crew that we do that with. Hell yeah. yeah the dude. whole gang. Yeah, I feel like real. it could go so wrong so quickly. That needs to be documented. Nah, Shane Shane had the best line in that whole podcast. Because he was not having a good trip. Everybody's having a great <laughs> time. But, dude, it was like every he was silent just to, like, once every 40 minutes be like, I think we took too many shrooms. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but then at one point, it's still kind of beginning. He's just like, yo, no, you might have took too much. And Joe Rogan's like, we're going to be good. We're fine. And then Shane goes, wait a minute, guys. I think we could drink our way out of this. Yeah. <laughs> and I was just like, yo, smoking like a real experienced motherfucker. So like, we could drink our way out of this, boys. <laughs> but, yeah, dude. Oh, funny shit. The last time I tripped was on accident for real. When we, when I first moved into the apartment. My house. Oh, wow. Yeah, my uncle fucking, he always gives me just weed and 
shit I don't even ask for, bro. And he's just like, if you don't want to, just sell it. And I'm like, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> like, thanks, my, my uncle. Uh, but he gave me mad, um, of like these capsules with like mm. ground up shrooms in it. I had Whoa. before too. Yeah. Those are nuts. Dude, Those he didn't nuts, tell me. He was like, yo, bro. he was like, dude, he's like, one of these is like 0.3 of, um, or whatever. He's like, it's either 0.3 or 0.5, you know, like it's like a micro dose pill. Yeah. So I was like, all right, cool. We just moved in the apartment. Um, my, my roommates fucking, we're going to go out like fishing or something. I don't fish or I don't do none of that shit. So I was like, dude, I'm about to just fucking trip a bit. Like, and just acclimate to the house and play mm. some games, whatever. Mm. So I take two because I didn't want a super micro dose. I was like, I just wanted to feel a little bit. So I take two. And then, dude, it was like an hour went by. And then my, my one boy's boy came through to pick him up to go fishing and shit. Mm. And he's just like, yo, Jordan, you want to smoke before we go? So I tell him, I'm like, yeah, dude, I'm super down. So we we go outside to the backyard and I'm hitting a bong with him. And I look up and then you know how sometimes when you look at something, when you're tripping, you start to see like the swirls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I look up at like we have a shed in the backyard. I start to see the swirls in like the shed. And immediately I was like, my day's done. I was like, this is, <laughs> I was like, this isn't what I thought it was going to be. So I, t- I look at him and he's like, yo, what's wrong? He saw it in my face. I was like, bro, I'm about to trip balls. Dude. <laughs> I was like, dude, I'm only like 15 minutes in and I'm like, I'm getting visuals. He's like, oh, that's, that's great. <laughs> like, no, that's not what he's trying to do. He's like, lucky. I text my, I text my uncle. I text my uncle. I was like, yo, like you sure that these are like micro dose? Pills and he just like I just checked the bottle. They're actually a gram of pop. No, <laughs> oh my dude. god, dude. I was like, you could have told me this. I was like, so then ready. Oh, I, I think I told you this part too. So I, he's like, yo. First off, this isn't even true. So any listeners, like, this is just uncle bullshit. He's like, yo, if you ever start to trip and you want to like erase the trip, you want to get like r- rid of it, just drink some milk. Like if you're on shrooms, <laughs> just drink milk. And I was just like, all okay. right, cool, cool, cool. What's so I Google it. Legend? So, so I Google it, <laughs> yeah. and it's if you take shrooms on accident. Like, let's say I, you eat a piece of pizza from the fridge, and you're like, that tasted like shit. And I'm like, because there's shrooms on it. If you drink milk immediately, it'll cancel it out. Nah, but right. according to everything shit. I saw on Google, in my panic, it was like, if you're feeling it, too late. Damn. <laughs> right? You're in too deep. I was in too yeah. deep. So I was like, oh, fuck, fuck. So I'm trying to, like, accept my fate. You know, mm. surrender to it. Yes. Right? Yeah. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to be cool, you know? And I know it's not going to work. I just Googled it, said it's not going to work, but I might. Just go have a glass of milk. <laughs> so I walk out to the kitchen. I open up the fridge and it's fucking empty. I turn around and Andrew finished the milk that morning for his fucking cereal. No. Yeah. So I was like, oh, fucking great. Dude, for the first time in my life, I tried to meditate. I was going crazy, dude. So I go back in my room. I couldn't even play the game. I tried to put on the Xbox and like fuck around. And I just kept thinking of like, damn, Jordan, you said you weren't ever going to trip again. Look at you now. <laughs> and I, <laughs> I was like, fuck. I had, to, I had to hype myself up and shit. Dude, I remember there was one trip I had where I decided to meditate as well. Mm-hmm. And it was like... It worked for me. I, Dude, feel like yeah, every, for I feel like everybody has that... Uh, let me meditate because I've been there too. Yeah, yeah I hate dude. to confess it, but yeah, yeah. Because everyone fucking preaches about it. like meditation so good for you. Yeah, yeah. So is it? <laughs> yeah, a fucking, <laughs> a fucking jackass like me, you know. I was like, fuck it, I'll meditate. Yeah. You know. So I fucking, I, dude, I was deep in a trip. I think this was actually the trip I had where I've talked to you about this before. I don't think I've ever talked about it on the podcast, but how you were saying before that you got you went on like a like a year or two binge where you were just really like into psychedelics and stuff mad shit, yeah yeah so like that's that's i had that same kind of like yeah. binge as well after high i feel school. like if unfortunately it seems to be a pattern and like as like an adult looking back mm. i feel like the people who get into shit young like us end up after school or towards the end of high school having like a moment where you for like a period of time you just experiment it yeah you know yeah yeah so uh, there was one day, I think it was one of the last times I, like, tripped super fucking hard before, like, I decided to take a break from mm-hmm. it for a bit was I had, like, a sheet of 10 tabs. Oh, 10 tabs. Right, I'm letting you finish the story. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Let me let me walk you guys through it. So, I had this plan, right, where I bought 10 tabs in total. Wasn't planning <laughs> to on take taking them. all of <laughs> yeah. them. Okay. Uh-huh. It was, I decided, all right, I have 10. I'm going to span this out for the next few weeks, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, just fucking just field days here and there. So I took the first one, right? 
it started kicking in. Like I started feeling my, my legs get all fuzzy and shit and I'm feeling it. I'm you like, feel your own skin. <laughs> yeah. And then my inhibitions lower a little bit. So then I'm like, fuck, I'm just going to pop a second one real quick. No. So that was it. That, that was my plan. I was just going to do the two. Then later on, like an hour later, two hours later, once I started feeling the come down from those first two, I was like, well, yeah, I kind of want to go going, back up. Going. Bow. <laughs> Another one. And I kept doing that all night. Literally oh, all night. Dude. And the second I started feeling it come down, bow, another one. <laughs> come down, bow, another one. And I, by the end of the night, I was losing my fucking mind, dude. Uh, yeah. Like, I was just, like, in a whole state of disarray. I, it was, I, like, higher on life. <laughs> dude, for real, man. I remember try, I was on a FaceTime call with this one bitch. For some fucking reason, she called me. And I literally told her, I was like, I cannot even speak. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, like, <laughs> like dude, I, I, have... I could not. Uh, I got I got two really good psychedelic stories, and then all the other times I tripped have not made story material. Mm. But I have two. One of them is a bad trip. I feel like it could have been an ego death. I don't know, but I I say it to everybody I've told the story to. I will never forget this until the day I die. It was the craziest thing that I've ever experienced until like literally today. I still haven't felt nothing like it. And then another one was just the day itself, mm-hmm. and that, that, what happened at like that night was probably like the most eventful trip through the whole time but then this one just ended real shittily which one would you rather hear i like i like bad news first yeah sweet yeah it's a bad story so it was my birthday it was a day before my birthday this is when i was living with my grandma right after Mm. high school my mom was like all right i know you you're like started like this bullshit like you can't stay here during that so i had to go live with my grandma my grandma god bless her soul has way too much trust in me (laughs) So, like, living with my grandma made it all worse because there was no super. <laughs> that was Freedom was Central. Yeah, exactly. And then my uncle lives there, too, and he's the one giving me fucking <laughs> Forget about it. Yeah. Shit, right? So, at the time, me and my boy were selling, um, like, shroom and acid, and mm. I was able to keep sheets in my grandma's freezer. Um, dude, yeah, dude, Poor I feel like grandma. This, dude, she's a hoarder. It's, like, just going to be real. She's a hoarder. So, in her freezer... There was like an ice cream tub that hasn't been moved since like 85. You know what I'm saying? Oh my so God. I fucking like, I would keep, I would stash my sheets under that because no one was touching that shit. Mm-hmm. It was like that last to me when I was selling, I could, when you keep shit in the freezer, it keeps it as strong as like, yeah. It, yeah. Can, it won't decay or whatever. So yeah, dude, I would have sheets in there and sell the whole thing, not missing one, not missing nothing. Like eat, no one was touching that shit for months. It was beautiful. Um, So I'm tripping outside my boy picked me up and i'm just having an adventurous day so i'm on like two or three tabs and like i'm chilling um i'm almost peaking so i have the great idea i was like yo my grandma and my uncle isn't at the house for this weekend like let me go back to this dark cluttered like house you know what i'm saying and just chill by myself i'm in the comfort of my boy's basement with all the boys you know but let me just go back to this fucking crazy ass house it's a great what could go wrong so I tell my boy I'm trying to leave. I was like, yo, it's my birthday. Drive me home. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so he, he's like, all right. He takes me home. And I go downstairs because my uncle had mad bongs. So I go downstairs to the basement. And you know how, like, I'm mansplaining to y'all. But, like, for the listeners who don't know, if you smoke <laughs> weed when you're tripping, it doesn't make you weed high. It kind of, like, just enhances, extent, enhances yeah, the trip. Yeah. Dude, I face, like, an eighth through this bong just Holy back shit. to back to back to back to back to back <laughs> and i'm i'm texting this one person right and um this was years ago but it was a it was a female so she was telling like she knew i was tripping mm. and then i end up saying some like outlandish shit right so she was like oh it's cool because you're tripping like it's whatever and i was just like you know what no it's not cool because i'm it's not cool. <laughs> like i'm so sorry i'm sorry and she's like no no like it's actually fine like don't worry about it and i was like no it's not fine. It's and unacceptable. I just, yeah. I, it, it, dude, I was like, I'm a horrible person. I was like, I was like I'm so Shaming sorry. Shaming yourself. I kept, yeah, I kept Whipping going yourself and texting. In the so now, at the time, too, at my grandma's house, I had an air mattress that ended up popping, like, very early on in my stay. Mm-hmm. So I was sleeping on, like, the floor in the back of her house. So now I'm laying down on the floor, just tripping balls. <laughs> and, right? So I'm laying on my back, and I'm texting her, just keep saying, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I remember dropping my phone, right? It lands on my chest. I watch my fingers like crank up into like themselves. I feel my ribs crack when the phone hit my chest. My ribs crack, hit my heart, and it all drops into my stomach. 
I swear on everything I love, I hear this deep ass voice go, it's all your fault. Oh my God. I blink, I blink and I wake up sober in the morning. <laughs> what the fuck? I was stuck in the loop going, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I dropped the phone. It's all your fault. I blink, I oh wake up, God. I'm sober, it's the morning. And I was just like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> Dude, there was no, I, I, I don't know. To this day, I have no idea what the fuck that was. Dude, that's like that crazy, like that fucking just switch and you just woke up. I just the, woke the, up. Dude, that's. That I had to wake shit. up and then apologize again. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yo, I don't know what got into me. Dude, that fucking trip I had where I was just going like 10 tabs deep, dude. Yeah, when I, like when I meditated. And I, I put in some like tribal music in and I literally, <laughs> dude, it was in the middle, it was in the middle of December. I went outside without a jacket on. I just had oh my, my long God. johns yeah, dude, and my thumb on. Yeah. Dude, yeah. And I was warm and I sat out in my backyard and literally fucking meditated. And I sat there music in fucking, wah, 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 wah. <laughs> dude, I got my eyes closed. I feel the, the cold air hitting my face mm. and shit. I'm fucking seeing, I'm one seeing with all your the ancestors lasers yeah. and shit. Yeah. And I'm seeing a light show in my head. Yeah. And I'm so invested. And it's nighttime. Dude, when I opened up my eyes, it was day. You were probably sitting out there for like two hours, bro. Dude, I think I have no idea exactly Dude, you're how lucky your neighbors didn't call the fucking cops and like, <laughs> my neighbor's being weird again. <laughs> like, it's fucking yeah, 40 degrees outside. Fucking nuts. Like, because I, the way, like, how my backyard at my parents' house was set up, you know, if you're looking out the back, like, towards the back of the backyard, you can see the sky nice and clear and oh, shit. Wow. So, like, okay. I was looking at the stars a little bit, whatever is out there, you know, because mm-hmm. fucking New Jersey light pollution sucks, mm-hmm. asshole. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I'm fucking, I remember just looking up, closing my eyes, meditate, open up sun (laughs) dude fucking i checked my phone i was like like even the fucking music i was listening to stopped like i dude i went into like a fucking you fell asleep awesome shit you fucking you know i don't want to make assumptions i don't know if i know like the answer to this and i'm Mm. really hoping you don't give me the answer i want okay Okay? i'm i want both answers (laughs) did you feel like you learned something about yourself after that yeah Hmm. He just fell asleep outside. Yeah, not right. He didn't learn shit. <laughs> he didn't learn shit. Well, you were like sitting the same way, like when you woke up. Yeah, yeah. Like it's not like I like I woke up like <laughs> yeah, woke up oh, on your back. Yeah, like I was I was still sitting. Dude, you if know? like a brown person saw you like that, like middle of the night into the morning meditate, they would Respect. probably like worship you or something. <laughs> There's like people in the forest like that meditate like that. Mm-hmm. They're probably off something. I don't know. But they're, See, they're honestly, do I just like I feel like, I really feel like we need to clear shit. this up because this isn't a video podcast. Oh yeah, I'm brown. Yeah, okay. Yeah, just for clarification. Clarification. It's yeah, okay yeah, for yeah. her to say yeah, it, Jordan. Yeah, I cannot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Brandon's dark enough where he could probably. Yeah, get away. like I get a pass. Yeah. 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 So, you know, yeah. there's these tribal brown people in the jungle. Like damn. No, the forest, babe. The forest. In the woods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They like sit on like tree stumps and stuff you know and they have like long beards oh and, yeah like, yeah, yeah. No, as you get to, she just read the lorax for the first time <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. ready this this, <laughs> this other trip story i have i'm with my boy literally it's one of those ones where it was like everything was like a movie it just worked out mm. to be a story dude so i'm with my boy and i swear to god like once we're done with the pod i'll call him and i'll have him tell you the exact same story because he i've been it Feel was the most in tune I was with, like, another guy I was tripping with, right? But, so we... <laughs> nah, ready? So, <laughs> I meet, like, the plug <laughs> fucking in a parking lot, right? Mm. Um, And we lived in the same complex, right? So, we walk to, like, a pizza place, pretty much, to have, our like, another dude come and meet us and give us the tabs. The tabs, they must have been from, like, a sheet of, like, space or something, because they were yeah. black. The two tabs were black. So we, I'm holding both of them in my hands. I give him like the 20 bucks or whatever, and he drives off, right? We're walking through the parking lot, and then he's like, my boy, he goes, you know what? If we take him now, 30 minutes later when it really hits, we're a 30-minute walk away from like a smoke spot we used to go smoke at. Mm. So he's like, let's take him now, and then just walk and enjoy while we get there, right? I said, dude, that's perfect. I open my hand. They're gone. I dropped him. My dumbass <laughs> dropped the black tabs on parking lot, right? Oh Dude, we lot. look like fucking like junkies or weirdos. Crack We're walking around this fucking parking lot, looking at the ground, 
for like 15 minutes. And that doesn't uh-huh. sound too long until you think about how long 15 minutes could be, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. He fucking finds him, dude. He fucking found him. I, he was like, dude, it's meant to be. We were supposed to do this. <laughs> you know? So we, we take him. We walk to the smoke spot. As we're going there, we pass a house. Mm-hmm. And you guys might even know this house possibly. There was like 40 fucking cats outside. What? Do you, have you ever been to Silver Lake? Locals will understand the reference. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. No, I don't Dude. think I've ever been to Silver Lake. All right, yeah. Is that like a camping site? Is that what that is? No. Like it's a no. It's okay, like it's no, literally like you're at a dead end road. You walk down the end of the dead end road, and there's like a very like polluted lake, and there's like oh, a one is that... made a bench. I think I took you there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and there's like a bench that someone made in the '60s, and I actually met that guy. Oh, met, really? He still lives with his fucking moms, dude. It's fucking crazy. Wow, dude. Is he still making benches? <laughs> no, nah, he just goes there and drinks. <laughs> <laughs> he just needed he's the like, one bench. Dude, he's in there. He's, I met him the one time. He's sitting there just pounding fucking like Bud Lights or whatever. And he's like, I fucking made that. <laughs> <laughs> I made that when I was 16. That's, that, that's <laughs> surreal to think about because right? there's it's a day crazy. that that dude built that and sat on it for the first time right it low key it was and cool he was like this is it like, and it's like, when he's, he's like oh, i fucking made that i'm fried i'm like bro that's so cool <laughs> that's fucking crazy Legend. So, yeah but right there there was a house dude it was like uh, maybe not 40 but it had to be more than 12 cats all mm. in the front yard staring at me and my mom <laughs> right so we're smoking and <laughs> so he goes bro have you ever hugged a tree dude and i was like no. have you ever done it yeah, I mean... No, but you done, like, the, the hand on your heart thing? What? Do you feel it breathe? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Dude, I thought he was bugging out. He's like, bro, if you put your hand on your chest and then your hand on your back and then you lean on the tree, you could feel it breathing. No. So I'm like, dude, you've done this way too many times. Like, like you're just crazy. He's like, fucking do it, dude. So I was like, all right, cool. So I go to do it, and it's true. Like, you feel the tree. Like, you feel the life in the tree. And I know I sound crazy, but... It sounds like some hippy dippy shit. It sounds yeah. like some hippy dippy shit, but it's, it's legit. It's, fucking, it's yeah. legit. You feel the life of the tree. So I was like, holy shit. So me and him, at this point, it's like 10 p.m. We're only like an hour in, if that. Mm. And he's like, we have no more plans. Like, he's like, we have nothing else to do. So I was like, I have an idea. I'll call Andrew and tell him we're having a horrible trip and we're scared. And then he has to pick us up. <laughs> right? Dude, so I, 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 Dude, dude, it was the best idea I've ever had. <laughs> it's honestly the best idea I ever had. So I call Andrew. I'm like, bro, I'm with, uh, his name is Anthony. I was like, bro, I'm with Anthony right now, dude. Fucking, we took a tab like an hour ago. It's going so bad, bro. It's <laughs> I was like, can someone get us? So he's like, you know, I have mad people at the house right now. I'll have our boy Richie come scoop you guys up. Mm. I was like, all right, cool. So he's like, just stay, stay there. We were by, uh, you know, White Church? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we were right by White Church. He's like, stay at White Church. I do. I you know, know Silver Lake now. Yep. Yeah. Oh, know exactly. oh, that's what it is? Yeah, that uh, one single bench you're talking about? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I know exactly I met that guy. About. His name's Doug. Really? Mm-hmm. Wow. So fucking, Close yeah. <laughs> so, boom. It's crazy. So Rich, uh, Richie comes and scoops us up. And I'm like, yeah, bro, we, we chill him, dude. I just, we just need something to do. And he's mm-hmm. like, all right, cool. Just be come. So we go. Right, so now we're in the shack, like the shed, and it used to be pimped out at one point. We had TVs and lights and shit in there. Nice. Uh, it was crazy. A flood actually fucked it up. A flood came and broke, killed everything, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Goddamn water. Yeah, but this yeah. was before that. So we're all sitting, and it's like blue light and red lights. It was it was a great place to trip, you know? Mm-hmm. So me and my boy are the only ones tripping. We have like four other friends there, and then Andrew. So we're all smoking. Then his dad comes home with someone else, right? And this is a woman that's, like, related to some people. You know what I'm saying? So he they, they were out drinking. So Andrew's pops knows, like, we smoke back there. He, don't, he didn't give a fuck. So the lady was like, oh, can I go in there and, like, just smoke with them real quick? And he was like, if you want to go smoke with my fucking kid, that's weird. But, like, go for it. <laughs> I'm going inside. So he goes inside. And this lady, so at the time, she's probably, like, 50. You know, like, she's not, like, Whoa. a young lady. Older woman, yeah. Yeah, she's, like, an older woman. So she comes in, and she's she's drunk, and she sits right next to me. So now we're all smoking. She has no idea that me and the other boy is um, <laughs> tripping. So we're all just going and telling stories. Keep in mind, again, she's super drunk. I'm sitting there. All of a sudden, she starts rubbing on my legs with her feet. She starts rubbing on me. So I'm sitting there, and no one notices because there's a table, right? So I'm like, what the fuck, right? I was like, this, oh, what, what's going on? Uh, uh, I'm tripping. I'm flabbergasted, right? <laughs> Here, listen to this. As she's doing it, she slowly stops and starts fucking crying. 
right? What? Again, she, Whoa. Had, she has she had a child that ended up passing away. She starts crying and talking about that. So I'm tripping balls, bro. So I just went from this lady like rubbing me to talking about her her deceased her child. deceased child. I'm bugging the fuck out. I look at my boy and he's looking at me and he can like sense something's wrong. He's like, what the fuck? So then she's like, I gotta go and fucking and leaves. So I put my boy aside, Andrew. I put Andrew and I'm like, yo, dude, she was like touching me. And he was like, are you sure? I know you're tripping. Like, are you sure? And I was like, bro, I'm not making that shit up. I was like, you can feel when someone's <laughs> touching you. And he's like, yeah, I know. I just don't want to believe it. What the fuck? And I was like, yeah, what the fuck? And it was wild. That's some shenanigans. That was great. <laughs> dude, I swear to God, it was the weirdest emotional like feeling I've had. Like a roller coaster. It was it was like <laughs> not just a it would have been a roller coaster if I was sober. You know mm. what I'm saying? But it was just it, it went from being like confused to completely distraught. I was just like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> yeah. I was like, I wanna yeah, go home. Real. I was like, I wanna go home. What's going on? Yeah, she's rubbing up on you, you're chubbed Dude. up a little bit and then she starts crying, you're like, what the fuck's going Dude, on? I wasn't even chubbed up. I wasn't chubbed up. It was I didn't enjoy it. Like I'm not just saying that because my girl's here, but like <laughs> you know, but like it wasn't someone that I like fucked with, you know what I'm saying? Just some like random older lady. And I was just like, what the I was like, fuck am I being going fucking on? assaulted? Fuck. <laughs> 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 And yeah, I, I, that's another moment I don't think I'll ever forget. That's nuts. Because, like, it, I don't even have words for it, dude. I really have. I, I don't know how to end that story, you know? It's like, words, it's like you had to be in my shoes to. You had to be there. Not Even people who were there didn't understand it. I'm, tripping, I'm <laughs> gone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's yeah. one of those things, I guess, it's just going to, like, forever be with you, you know? No I've one's, seen, no I've, one's I didn't even, like, talk to her about it. it. I haven't. I don't, is, I, is that lady still like around? Is she still like? At, she's around? related to people we know. Oh, so like, yeah. You, I guess you'll you, see her again. I, I, I haven't in years, and she no longer works with Andrew's dad. Okay. So like, I don't mm-hmm. see her anymore. But like, but there's a chance. There's a chance. Like at one point down the yeah. line, I might see her, and I just have to act Are like that shit didn't it? fucking happen. No, you should be. Like, at, hey, the, at this point, it's been like five years. You it's been like five four years. years so ago. I might. Yeah. I just don't know how well that conversation just would even go. Up, Get some clarification. Yeah. The matter. There's nothing to clarify. Oh, there's so much to unpack. Yeah, I feel like there's, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's a lot more. <laughs> like, listen, lady, let's get something straight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So what was that about? <laughs> like, oh, dude. Maybe she started crying about her, you said deceased son. Mm-hmm. Maybe she. Maybe you look like him. So no, she was rubbing up on him because he you, looked yeah, like Yeah, so she's rubbing son? up on me because I look like her son? No, no, no. That's sick son. No, no, no. She was rubbing up on you because she was drunk, right? Right? And then she looked over you and glanced into your beautiful uh, eyes and she was like, oh my God, my baby boy. We look nothing alike. She's a different race. Uh, uh, yeah. There we go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, no. Yeah, I don't. I think she was probably like, "Damn, I'm really hanging out with people like that. Would have been my like my son would have been that age. Okay, like, what the fuck am I doing? Mm. Let me stop touching this boy. You know, yeah, boy, this yeah. little boy. And meanwhile, now I'm sc- now I have thing like, I need help, and I I trace it back to that. <laughs> nah, I'm playing, but I go to therapy every day since. <laughs> Dude, I've literally, I've only told that story like three times, because people like. If I t- the people who I would tell that story to would know that person. It's just now I feel like this is a, a spot where you guys don't know who I'm talking about. And I doubt your listeners would really like double analyze. Like, okay, I know who Jordan is. You know? <laughs> I know who you want to dial in. Yeah, it's going to be way too <laughs> narrow. Yeah. 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 So I felt comfortable telling that story. Yeah. That's nice. I'm glad. Imagine I'm, she's listening right now. Yeah, Yo, a mess of She's yeah. like, that she's was our him. number one fan somehow. <laughs> <laughs> she calls in. <laughs> Jordan, I missed you so much. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm like, hi to me. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh shit. Did you guys hear about the whole go kart track? Going yeah, on? dude. Yeah. Are you Are you guys interested in going? I would. Yeah, I would want to go. Yes. There's a- yeah. I'm actually a demon when it comes to axe throwing. I've done it once. I've never done it, and I want to try it. It's he easy. It's good. a lot easier than yeah. you think it is. Yeah. I, I, not for me. I, she I, has I, not one athletic bone in her body. Hey, yeah. I I have like half an athletic. You know, I I can. What's your special talent? Like what? What My do you? Yeah. Like what talent? do you think? Like if you had to represent yourself, at, like with a specific what you, trait. What do you think? My special she talent. Yes, Jordan. No. What do you think? My. She's is? super. Like, if you knew like her credentials and like academia, <laughs> mm. you know, like if you saw her resume, you would be like, "What the fuck are you doing with Jordan?" 
Like she's <laughs> she's a genius, dude. And it comes to the point where I want to be a supportive boyfriend. So mm. I'll be like, yeah, no, I went to like the gym was great. You know, we worked on this technique, and you know what I'm saying. Like I could tell her shit about like MMA, and like she'll get it. Be like, oh, that's mm. cool. And then I'll be like, how was your day? Like, how was the lab? And then she'll be like, oh, so then the, the da, 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 da. and I, I don't <laughs> understand a word. Sixty yeah. percent of the time, and I'm just like, dude, that's I'm so proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah like, I think I think the bigger complex words just makes you more like appreciative of who you, who's who you got because at least they know what. The dude, no, I'm, I'm I'm appreciative not because she's smart. I just think that would be her special talent. Is, I think is so. just having I have that brains. big brain. Big brain. The, yeah. She's really big brain, and it's mm. like it's to the point where it's like she'll be like, oh, I don't. Yeah, I, I was like, oh, you guys know if you smoke when you trip. Fucking, you guys already know that it doesn't get you weed high. <laughs> She'll be like, oh, I know I'm already explaining it, and you probably already know, but the chemical reaction between this and your brain and the <laughs> yeah, one literally. And I'm, like, and I'm like, so everybody you know just knows this, you know? It makes me feel dumb. Like, yeah. like it makes me feel fucking dumb, but it works. I think we balance each other out. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> the yin and the yang. Yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 yeah, it's fucking great. So, okay, so then, all right. I gotta ask, though. Who came up with This Is Nice, the name? Okay, we were on, we a, were on hike. a hike. Yeah. We were on a hike, and then it, we were kind of discussing, like... Hypothetically, oh, we if we a made brand. a brand. Yeah, yeah. we're, like, <laughs> trying to bounce off ideas of, like, what to, what to call the brand, the thing. I don't know, we were walking through the, the thing. Just then, fucking riffing, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then, like, we came across this, like, bit in the hike, and we were like, oh... This is this is nice. Like this is a nice hike. And this like, is nice. This is yeah. Nice. And it just. Stuck. And then you were like, you know what? That should just be it. Yeah, it was like, it's like, and then the best thing was, I was like, I feel like you could just wear anything, and they'd be like, oh, this is nice, and you'd be like, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, I fuck yeah. with it, right? Yeah. yeah. So then I um, I was like, oh, that's cool. So how I came up with like my music, like the my stage name before that, and everything, everything I've ever started, I did immense um, search engine like research on research it. just that i don't ever want to be like the same name as something else right mm-hmm. so i googled this is nice and there's a one like thing that pops up saying like this is nice clothes right and i was like what the fuck so i go mm-hmm. on the guy's twitter and he has like four followers and it, <laughs> yeah. the, what the oh, only yeah. design he had was like times new roman like he just <laughs> typed the and basic I was like, shit let's take it but it's not yeah. fucking yeah. taken yeah. Yeah. yeah so yeah i was like i think we kind of struck struck gold yeah. yeah nice i fucks with it right? yeah. it is yeah. nice i'll tell you that you, you. yeah there's one person on instagram that has the at no side just straight up no. at, no side, at yeah. no side did you right. try dming them yes no I, response i offered yeah. money no, no. response mm-hmm. nothing they pretty much just said fuck you was it a private account no Money's they're public and they're active yeah. still. they're active still yeah no. for the most part See, yeah. i've had other moments where um like back in boys back in boys was taken but it was from a dead account so oh, no matter so. yeah they didn't post since like 20 mm. if it was 2018 or whatever 2019 at the time they didn't post since like 2015 mm, okay. yeah uh, and then um so the at for back in boys was the back in boys and then uh this is nice mm-hmm. was taken and it's probably not even a dead account i don't remember mm-hmm. um so i was like when we make the website this is nice.com was taken but this is nice. Dot co isn't so I was like, all right, that's just gonna be the Instagram too now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think yeah. it has a nice ring to it. Is that, yeah. And also the co, I feel like, just makes it feel a little more professional. Yeah, you know, dot yeah. com. Yeah. It's like everyone got dot com. Yeah, yeah. I wanted dot to do co. something different. different. Yeah, I, I've seen some cool ones. People are getting creative with it. Yeah, especially the streaming sites. You know what I'm saying? It's mm. like streamies. Dot x y z. Yeah, they gotta fucking hide all that shit. D- different different tags. So, okay, there's one question I would like to ask. I know me and Brandon uh, were talking about this before mm-hmm. with, with about your guys' relationship, all right? So, since you guys were talking about, like, your dynamic, your yin and your yang, you know. I'm yin. Outside people would look at your guys' relationship and be like, what are you doing with him? Or what are you doing with her? Like, <laughs> yeah. how does that work? Yeah. So, que- uh, there's a question that I have to ask. Are you guys mm-hmm. mingling with each other's families? Uh, her family. She's like she's not even a a first generation. Em- she she I'm wasn't an even immigrant born. Immigrant immigrant. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. Her like family. I came over on the boats, kind of. So thing. I've met oh. and hung out with part of her family, yeah. but like her parents do not yeah. know of my existence. Would your parents approve? I think they would warm up to him. <laughs> you know, like hey. <laughs> gang, 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 gang. I think they would approve of him, like <laughs> after some substantial interaction you know like i feel like i feel like unfortunately and i'm just realistic 
I'll, I'll toot my own horn when it's time to toot my own horn. But I also, I'm aware of, like, what could be perceived as flaws or whatever, right? But I feel like if you are a successful immigrant family that mm-hmm. came from India, you know, like, started a business and her mother's a doctor as well. And now she's going to school and she's going to be starting her PhD mm-hmm. program and shit like that. Like, okay, it's just her nice. brother does, like, pharma work and shit like Radio that. Pharma? Right? Yeah. And, yeah, and they're just like, oh, this is your boyfriend. What does he do? And I'm like, I fight. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, you know, it's like every, I feel like every question they could have from Typical me American. is wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll show up, like, hand tattoos and fucking, you Representing know? the 732. <laughs> 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 yeah. like, oh. I I'm like, now the party's here. What's up? <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> like, yeah. Where the gabagool at? But, dude, my family, though, loves her more than they love me. Oh, uh, I uh, love his family. I've, like, met yeah. him a couple times, hung out with him. I love his sister. Yeah, no, they, they, lo- they actually, like, like her. I would go to my mom's house, and my sister's like, why are you here alone? <laughs> like, why, why are you even here if you're not gonna bring her like that's how it really like, is oh Sperty's not here yeah. Yeah. what's the point go yeah. yeah it's crazy yeah I feel like it'll be like that for my family just eventually you know? not as quick my family to my family is very like isolated it's a very small family very tightly packed you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so like as soon as I brought her home and they were like oh she does this oh you're not leaving. You know what I'm saying? That's how it fucking feels from my end. So she's like, oh my God, they're so loving. And I'm just like, yeah, yeah. they just don't want you to leave. <laughs> like fucking everybody You're else. family now. As, as soon as they made, co- they shook hands and made contact, it was like, it was like, I felt the connection. <laughs> so that's yeah. a sacred bond. And yeah. I am not allowed to Forever. leave. <laughs> my, my sister was like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. that one crazy relative does the fucking yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bond, like, bonded by okay. blood. <laughs> blood brothers. <laughs> yeah, dude. I knew it was going to be that way too. I fucking, I tried to like warn her, you know? Mm-hmm. And then I was just like, yeah, even the one person I didn't know would like warm up to her immediately is like my grandma. And it's not because she's like white and racist. It's it's because <laughs> I'm fucking with you. Love it's your because like <laughs> <laughs> it's like like she'll say it in front of my like her other grandkids. I'm mm. her favorite. You know what I'm saying? She she said that too. She loves me because I was like I, I'm what made her a grandma. And my grandma had my mom when she was 18. Mm-hmm. My mom had me at 19. So my grandma was only 37 when I was born, and like a fresh 37. You know, like, there's people who are parents at that age, Yeah, you yeah. know? Mm-hmm. So, she really, like, she was there on, like, my lowest. I was living with her uh, multiple times in my life. So, I was like, honestly, I was like, babe, you're great. But, like, my grandma might not accept your level of great. Like, she might. Like, she might be like, oh, my baby needs the best. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right? Dude, my grandma opens it up. My grandma, we met on, you guys oh, met on it Thanksgiving. Was, it was legendary. It was she iconic. walks in. Oh, so first up, my yeah, little cousin, yeah, 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 my yeah. uncle's son comes in and yeah. goes, hey, I'm Anthony, I'm six, it and then walks so away. Cute. My grandma follows up and goes, hey, I'm grandma, I'm Italian. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. And I was like, welcome to the family. Like, now you see what I, wh- yeah. now you see why I am the way I am. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, my grandma was like, oh, so I hear you do this, you do this, uh-huh. Jordan, I really like her. <laughs> she was like, usually I feel like I have to give like a speech to all these girls, but I don't even feel like I have to talk to you like that. I already know you're going to be great for him. I was like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. I was like, be a little tough at least. You yeah. Know? yeah, you got to skip over a lot of fucking bullshit. Dude, she really yeah. fucking yeah. did. Yeah. She yeah. doesn't understand. It. No. You, know? yeah, you got like special treatment for sure. my boyfriend too, so like I've never had to deal with like meeting parents or anything. I was bred wow. again. Like, my mom is like reverse racist. I've told this story. Reverse before. Racist. Dude, it was the craziest shit. But my mom and like also me a little bit, I don't really fuck with the white women that much. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> my first, I don't do relationships. This is my second real relationship. You know what I'm saying? And like, and I, I'm not a grown ass man, you know? I, I don't like relationships. I had one before and it was a white girl. I brought her home. She met my mom. It was cool. She leaves. My mom, my mom was like, Jordan, what the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> she, was, she was like, yeah. She was like, why you, she, her, <laughs> right? So I brought her home, and my mom was like, nice. <laughs> this is nice. Good. Nice. Dude, I, that's another thing. I was like, what the fuck do you mean? What's going on? Like, Are you serious? I was like, I'm as a white girl. I was just like, 
Mom. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah. Mom, what year is it? Like, come on. <laughs> yeah, this day and age, I feel like white girls carry a little extra baggage. I feel like if you're a white man with a white woman, it just looks racist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know with the saying? times. Yeah, we went to a pumpkin patch and shit, like every fucking white couple does. You know what I'm saying? Mm, yeah. And dude, it looks like, like, I really felt like if there's two people doing their thing and they look over at us, they'd be like, all right, honey, we gotta go. You know, yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, this place has gone kids. to shit. Get the kids. <laughs> what yeah. happened? We met a racist baby at Target. Oh my god, have you? I feel like I didn't even know babies could even be racist until this baby. Jokes aside, I feel like the baby maybe just wasn't no, familiar with like no, darker jokes skin or whatever. Inc- but like, like I, that baby was racist. But like, no, like on some shit, this straight baby up. straight up like dirty looked her. Like, looked at me just fine. Looked at her. I was like, straight up. Looked her up and yeah. down. Like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> right? Child. The dad. The child's dad even noticed and apologized and tried to be cool with me for a second. <laughs> yeah. So the dad looked and was like, oh, shit. And then looked at me. I'm wearing a Nirvana shirt. But he said, he, said, he goes, hey, Nirvana, that's my groove, man. And then he like. <laughs> and then just rushed his baby yeah, away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, the baby, even the baby my straight up looked yeah. at her like. You're supposed to be on the other side. Yeah, right? <laughs> like, what face. do you think you're doing in, yeah. my, in my chip aisle? Yeah. Like, like, yeah. The baby like looks up at the dad. They make him like that? <laughs> <laughs> like, dad, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> dad, dad, take me home. Like, that baby has done that before. The way that dad reacted the dad, that wasn't the first the, yeah. time. Like, Not this fuck. again. Yes. Yeah. 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 Like, Come on, Spencer. Cool you know what? Yeah. <laughs> no, but the face was crazy. It was yeah. straight up like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like disgust. Yeah. It was like you ever like it was like the baby took a bite of a chocolate chip cookie, but it turned out it was oatmeal raisin and the baby uh, was like, yeah. That's how he, that's how that baby looked at my girl. Yeah. Oh shit. Nah, and with my newfound privilege, I'm I love making race jokes, dog. <laughs> Your privilege, like it's crazy because she just come in and be like, "It's fine," you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, you honestly do have a nice protective blanket. I got right a nice little protect. I yeah, do. Yeah. Yeah. No, nah, I make jokes to her, and I'm a dude. It was like a relatively early joke I made, uh-huh. and you took it well. And I was just like, all right, good. I was like, I could have actually lost her right there. <laughs> <laughs> that was the I make or break joke. Like, we were yeah. together for like three weeks and I made a racist <laughs> joke. <laughs> That's how, I think that you got to just go in, you know? You I just got to yeah. fucking test the water. I'm going to just be me regardless. That was yeah. the make yeah. or break yeah. joke. Yeah, no, but she public. was like, she was saying something. Oh, yeah, no, I felt comfortable because you got comfortable. And she was, we were together for a very short period of time. Oh, no, and she was just I like, say? she was like, you know, like, I was just thinking about it, and like, let's say we have a kid or something like that. Kid's gonna be half colonizer. <laughs> yeah, that's what I <laughs> right. Said. So tell me, dude. My reply was great. My reply was great. So she started it. Can we can we get that? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, she started. Yeah, it. I mean, she fuck it. Yeah, that All right, was good. Yeah. All right, good. She goes. She goes. You know, like I was just thinking, like if we have a kid, like the kid will be half colonizer. So I go. You know what? At least the kid will be half ambitious. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> the kid will have some goals. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like, as that came out of my mouth, because I don't think before I speak, as it came out of my mouth, I was just like, and there goes my girlfriend. <laughs> I was like, and there's that, folks. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to walk into Angie's room and be like, bro, you want to smoke? <laughs> <laughs> I got some more free time now. I don't know who I was talking to. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot who I was talking to. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, man. man. Well, this has been a this has been a long podcast. Really? How yeah. long has it been? Uh, hour eighteen. Wow, so it's, it felt good. Yeah, it's been, it's been, it's been good. fun. Yeah. Hell yeah! Yeah, I feel like this could be a good good uh, spot to wrap it up. But sure. uh, since we've started season two of No Side, when we have mm-hmm. guests on, I've been trying to do something at the end of each podcast with our guests. This is new for me. Yes, this okay. this will be new for you. Okay. Um, I've been trying to like end off the podcast with a little bit of a question to kind of like get like a weird peer into your guys' lives to give mm-hmm. the listeners like an idea of like who you guys are personality wise. You know, okay. Dude, we just went on an hour long rant about fucking acid and racism. Psychedelics. But that's now. the thing. I want to. It's a. Let me just ask okay, a question and you okay. understand, because okay. I I want to try to ask shut like, the weird fuck up, questions. Jordan. <laughs> like, Jordan, shut the fuck up. So my question for you guys is: What is a normal, like everyday average common food that people usually like? People, it's popular with people, but you guys don't like. Ooh. You guys can each answer the question. So, what is a typical everyday? Common food that you guys you don't chose like. the wrong people to ask. She don't eat jack shit regardless. 
<laughs> and then, yeah. dude, okay, she knows this. I have had tortellini oh. one total time in my life. Uh-huh. I was like seven years old, dude. I was like a kid. And I told my mom, I was like, this is the most disgusting shit I've ever ingested. <laughs> I didn't say it like that. It was more like, mom, no. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. And she actually, my mom was the type to be like, you're eating what I'm cooking regardless. But I hate tortellini so much that if she was going to do that, she would make like a little bit of regular pasta. I, uh, I have never went back. I uh, I despise tortellini. Here. I feel like it's not even that bad. Like, it's good. Someone yeah. tried to tell me. They were like, it's just ravioli with a hole in it, but it's not. <laughs> ah, he dude. feels very strongly about tortellini. Tortellini, man. Here, I'm going to like just... Dude, we're about to get another you, hour out of this, dude. I swear get, to God. Do you like freak out when you see a picture of tortellini? <laughs> <laughs> <It's> tor- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dude, it's fucking gross. What are you... Dude, I can't believe you don't like tortellini, man. Dude, what's it? Look, can you in just a, look in up what's inside of that? Sauce? That's a garlic Jeez. parm tortellini, man. Yeah. Dude, it's just, it's something is wrong with it. And again, I'm speaking, my last experience with tortellini was damn near 20 years ago, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but, but You've just written it off. I think your taste buds change every four or five years, so maybe they you like do. It now. There's some, f- no. Uh, there's some <laughs> food where I feel like I started to like another food that I did like that I'm starting to not like. But tortellini, I don't know. It just, I feel like. If there's something I've refused to eat for that long, that has to be the answer to the question. Yeah, that's a solid answer. Yeah, no, dude, I actually hate tortellini, bro. Like, it's... Uh, a bunch of Italians right now are probably upset with yeah. you. Yeah. Fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> right? Fuck you, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. You know yeah. what? You know what? If it wasn't for America, we wouldn't have pizza, and we wouldn't have fucking tikka masala. Yeah. America. Is that true? Yeah. Com- because tomatoes no. are native to... Yeah. Oh, oh, I thought you meant the uh, actual no. dish. No, yeah, no. Nah, she fucking... <laughs> Yo, she don't know what the fuck she's talking about. Tomatoes are native to the Americas. Yes. So yeah. that means an Italian came over, got a tomato, and was just like, dude, I'm about to fuck shit up over there, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. it, like, pizza is not Italian. It's like Italian-American. Yeah. Wow, so, I and didn't then, do that. And then same... Like, so America... Dude, I've been, like, mad Republican lately. Okay. <laughs> can, can you explain? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'm racist. <laughs> like, what you mean? Okay, that's it. <laughs> no, I'm just like, yo, you know what this country fucking needs? It's a little bit more broad. <laughs> that's the problem with America. That's me now. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Jokes aside, we can end it off on this. I feel like that is an issue with America, is there's not, like, people aren't proud to be American. It's like everybody... Like, I say I'm Italian. I ain't never been to Italy once in my life. Mm -hmm. You know? So I I think that realistically could... Once people are like, you know what? My great-great-grandmother was born here. I could say I'm American. I think people would start to try and... uh, Yeah, America got a bad rap right now. Oh, and, right now. Uh, it's fucking Biden's fault, let me tell you that much. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Bi- Bi- Biden definitely isn't doing much to uh, help the situation. Dude, too. Biden ain't yeah. doing shit. Blame it on Sleepy Joe. Dude, oh, I yeah. fucking love Joe Biden, bro. Yeah, that he's, video of him on the bicycle kills me every single yeah. time. He's not funnier he than Trump, though. Trump was he, funny. Dude. Biden is yeah. currently my favorite dying person. <laughs> like, like Shane Gillis like said, Shane bro. Gillis Shane Gillis was like, Biden is the only president of all time that you could punch assassinate. Yes. <laughs> yeah. just, just straight body shot. Like the fuck. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. Wait, you got to answer your food question. Oh. Yes, yes. See, I eat almost everything that's not meat. You know, like, I used mm. to hate cauliflower. Like, my tortellini was cauliflower for the longest time. Well, that's your problem, time. though, because she, let's say you eliminate one food from her diet, that's a quarter of everything she fucking eats. <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The sh- yeah. list just gets even shorter. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, shorter, shorter. shorter yeah. <laughs> no, I, like, lost a friendship over cauliflower once. It was, like, really what? bad. Yeah, this, like, this girl, like, like was trying to force feed me cauliflower while we were trying to do an AP bio project in high school. This is the type of shit. You see how she I added AP doing. in there? You see? Yeah, yeah. It wasn't, a, it wasn't a science project. It was an AP bio. No, that was. I was trying to like illustrate the gravity of that project. Being you know? descriptive. Yeah, yeah. And then this bitch was trying to get me to eat cal- when she knew I didn't like it, and she, and you know, and, and it was just a moment. And I was like, get out of my house. Get out of my <laughs> house. <Yes. laughs> I'm not even joking, and I didn't talk to her for a while. Oh, fucking sweet. All yeah. right. No side, yeah. baby. This is nice. <laughs> Let's fucking go. 
<laughs> no, but for real, thank you for having me on. Thank you for having her. Yeah, on. Dude, it's been yeah. great it's, having it's you guys. It's great coming on, on every single time. Even like when we came to just watch the fights and shit, mm. and just hanging yeah, out. It was fun. Good. Yeah, gorilla the, the, outfits. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she was like, yeah. "Should we wear the gorilla outfit?" <laughs> yeah, dude. You yeah. know, the next time you guys come on, we got to do like a costume thing. Yeah, we all. I would have something. to get a different costume. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. We'll, we'll we'll have to yeah. arrange something, yeah. or maybe you guys show up with something, and then me and Brandon show up with something, okay. and we just surprise okay. each other with costumes. But uh, okay, so in order to wrap this up, I'd like you guys to uh, plug whatever you guys want to plug. Uh, I have your guys' Instagram up on the the screen, so people will be able to see it right now. But if there's anything you guys want to share, advertise, promote, go ahead. This is your the red carpet is rolled out for you guys. Yeah, check out this is nice co on, on Instagram. Instagram, mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. or the the website or yes. our YouTube, which has wonderful thumbnails. That are very yeah. entertaining. I'm not even gonna lie. The best part of the content we make is probably the thumbnails, dude. <laughs> that's your most. That's that's what you have fun making the most. Yeah. Dude, I actually have fun. <laughs> yeah. I actually have fun making. Yeah, I feel like they progressively got like. This is you guys on the big screen. Ooh, Ooh. big screen. Yo, I got my first hate comment. Oh! This is nice. Got the first yeah, hate yeah, comment yeah, yeah, yeah. on yeah. the reel we posted. When I was talking about the casinos and shit like that, someone posted and called me cringe and sad as fuck. Said she's a nine and I'm a two. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I was like, dude, oh fucking God. great, dude. I like to, I like jokes. Like I take that shit mad good. My favorite part about that was he was like, yo, he's cringe and sad as fuck. <laughs> I was like, yo, why am I sad? <laughs> like that added a whole layer to it. Yeah, he's like, yo, that dude cringe and sad, dude. I was like, funny. oh shit. Yeah. So people back home listening. Here on No Side, make sure to go check out their recent episode, episode six of the This Is Nice podcast. Of course, check out their their back catalog of stuff. I'm sure, more to come from them. More yes, clothing, yes. more apparel. I'm gonna need to get some come this new year. Gotta get gotta get decked out in some This Is Nice merch. Mm-hmm. Um, that's that's year, pretty much gonna be the vibe. It's gonna be like half combat sports, <laughs> half like like skate vibes. I guess. Where and I, I that's that's kind of up my alley so i really like what you guys are doing i i I wish the best of luck to you guys on your endeavors and your journey um next year jordan fight cast we got to get that shit we have to do yes we'll we'll have to get that organized Um, we could do it earlier but a hundred percent for like john jones's return yeah that or like when conor mcgregor comes back like there's like some big ones we have yeah Yeah. when yuri prohaska fucking i hope he comes back seven years (laughs) his shoulders (laughs) fucked dude. dude man but he's the champ he's the champ <laughs> he, is. he is i don't see like just we can end it after this i just yeah. want to make this this point like are you gonna tell me jamal hill beats yuri Prohaska, bro no Th- boom that's yeah. all nope. that's it the nope. only guy who had a chance is glover but glover's 73 yeah. years old <laughs> I, I i don't see An- ankalaev beating yuri i don't see yeah. Jan beating yeah. yuri the only person i could see is glover but that's because we watched him kind of rag all happened, yuri man. from yeah. the first fight but yuri's still you know yuri's winning. yuri's the champ yeah, yeah fucking the champ all right guys all right. so with with that said <clears throat> this was nice <clears throat> this was yeah. nice and the music begins to fade in our voices fade out we'll see you guys on our next podcast next podcast is our christmas special so we'll see you guys then have a good night see you guys next time goodbye